Hello again, everybody. It's me, Mrs. TK, with another message for you from God's Word, the Bible. And today's lesson is about something I know you've heard of. It's called sin. Yeah, sin. That's the bad things that we do. And all of us do those bad things, I'm sad to say. I mean, when God created humans, he created us perfect and beautiful, like this lovely white towel. We were just like God when, when it was just Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Unfortunately, people messed things up. They did, and everybody else did after that, and so do we. And when we sin, well, it's like we mess everything up. You know, instead of having this nice, beautiful towel, when we sin, well, we do bad things. And oh, let me just clean off my hands here so I can show you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what it ends up looking like. What a mess, right? Each of these would be something I did wrong. A sin. And then everything that was beautiful becomes all messed up. And you know what kinds of things I'm talking about too, right? How about I, uh, I write some of them. I've got a little paintbrush here. This right here, this will be my, uh, my sin list. Let's see. Well, not mine specifically, but you know, the kind of sins that everyone does. Sin, that's the word. Let's see. What are some of the bad things that people do? Well, they lie. Oh yeah. People lie. Um, they steal. Yep. When you take things that don't belong to you, that's called stealing. Ooh, what about, uh, they hurt other people. Hurt. And that can be with your fists, or it can be with your words. All those things, and many, many more, are sins. <sighs> And it's just terrible that we have this problem of sin. We can't get rid of our sins. Once they're there, they're there. But there is a way for our sins to be taken away from us. And it's all because of Jesus. Jesus came and he lived a perfect life. So that when he died on the cross, he was paying the price for the sins of the whole world. All of our sins can be forgiven now because of Jesus. Ah, it's just the best thing that's, that's in the Bible. Let me tell you, the story of Jesus and the forgiveness that all of us get from believing in him. Hey, I have a story about Jesus that I would love to share with you. It's in the New Testament and well, I could, use, I could use this to tell you about it. You know that when Jesus lived here on earth with us, he did many amazing miracles. This is the account of one of those times. There was a man living at that time who lived in a house. And that house had a door. Well, there it is. It had a door and it had windows. But the man living in the house, he couldn't walk through the door. And he couldn't even stand to look through the windows because this man was lame. That means that his legs didn't work. All he could do was lie on his bed all day long and all night too. Very sad for him. Fortunately, this man had four one, two, three, four. Very good friends. Those four friends knew that Jesus had come to their town and he was visiting a house nearby. And so they wanted to get their friend to Jesus. Jesus could heal him, could fix his legs. So they picked up the man's bed and those four friends carried the bed with the man in it all the way to the house where Jesus was. When they got there, though, 
they were in for a surprise because it turns out they couldn't even open the door. The house was so full of people there to see Jesus. They looked through the window and they saw there was no space. There was no way they'd be able to get in there with their friend on his bed. That's when the four friends got an idea. They climbed up a ladder all the way to the roof of the house. They carried their friend on his bed so that he could be there up on top of the house. Once they were there, they saw that there were some, you know, kind of ceiling tiles right there. They used, uh, I don't know, maybe it was a knife. Maybe they had some scissors. Uh, I don't know. Could, they, could it have been a, a scissors thing? Maybe I can make scissors here. Can I do scissors? Mm, eh, not really scissorsy. Seems like they should be able to cut that open, right? That's what they did. They took their knives or scissors and they cut a hole. They went from this to this. A hole in the roof. A hole big enough that they could lower their friend on his bed right through the hole using ropes. And so there their friend was. He was right in there with Jesus. And Jesus said something that they would never forget. Jesus saw the man lying in that bed who couldn't walk. And his heart went out to that man. And he said to that man, your sins are forgiven. Wait a minute. That's not what he was expecting to hear. That's not what all the friends on the roof were expecting either. Your sins are forgiven? That's not why they had brought this man to Jesus. But Jesus knew that forgiveness of sins was more important than anything else, anything at all. And so he forgave the man's sins. Well, people listening were not happy about this because they were all saying, only God can forgive sins. Who does he think he is? They didn't realize Jesus is God. But Jesus knew what they were thinking. And so he also said to the man, Rise up, take up your bed, and walk. And would you believe that man got out of his bed? His legs worked again. He could walk. He could run. He could skip. He could jump. Jesus had healed him all because this man's four friends trusted in Jesus, who is the only one who can do it all, heal and forgive sins. Jesus is the answer. Wow. All those si the sins, they're, they're going away. Wow. This is kind of what it's like when Jesus forgives our sins. I bet if I let this stay a little longer, every single spot will be gone because that's how it is when Jesus forgives our sins. He forgives them completely. See, there's a problem that we have. When we're doing wrong things, it gets into a vicious circle. It becomes this ugly attitude we have. We know we did something wrong and then we feel bad about it and then we go do something mean to somebody else and then they feel bad and it just everything snowballs. All the bad things can just stay with us and bother us. When Jesus forgives our sins though, he makes them go away completely. Look, it's gone even more. He makes our sins go away completely. I have a video that would show that way better than I can tell it. Watch what happens to the boy in this video when he got angry and started to do wrong things. Check it out.
Like a fucking like a 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 love that video. I do. I love how when the boy asked Jesus for forgiveness, his sins were taken away and they were sent far, far away, as far as the east is from the west. That's what the Bible says. That's how far your sins will be separated from you. And how do you think that boy felt when he had that forgiveness? Oh, he must have felt great. I hope you feel great knowing that your sins are cleaned away completely too. I told you, it all went away. That's what Jesus does to our sins. We're his children, he loves us, but sin gets in the way of our friendship with him, with God. God wants to forgive us so that we can have a good, solid friendship. And he doesn't hold grudges. When he forgives us, he forgives us completely. Doesn't even remember what we did wrong. Isn't God great? You know, I've been wanting to talk to Howie Hartstring about that. Last week when I saw him, he was having a hard time sleeping at night because he thought there were monsters under his bed. So I got something for him that I think will help. It's a cross necklace, but you can hang it on your lamp and it's glow in the dark. When it's exposed to the light, it'll store up some of that light so that when he shuts off the light at night, he'll see this cross glowing in the dark, a cross that says, Jesus loves me. Won't that be great? I'll go get Howie. I think he'll be really surprised by this present. I'll be right back. Hey, Howie, look what I've got for you. This is going to make such a difference when you're trying to sleep. Hmm. Uh-oh. What's, what's going on? You look a little mopey. Hmm. Is that your super pup cape? Mm-hmm. Why aren't you wearing it? Why are you holding it in your mouth? <laughs> because it's ruined, that's why. Mm. Ruined? Really? What do you mean? Oh, I was playing super duper pup with cousin Phil and Jordan Pug, and they were pretending they were the Crazo Kids. Uh, but, but, super pup is supposed to win, and I didn't win. You were wearing your cape? Mm hmm. But look what happened! What happened? Ugh, don't you see all the spots? You're right. Yeah, there's all kinds of little brown spots on this. Chuh, that's mud. Ooh, guess uh, the Crazo Cats won that time, didn't they? They weren't supposed to! What happened was, 
Jordan got mad at me and he said super duper pup is dumb and then he pushed me down and my cape got in the mud and and mm, I was so angry mm, I'm sorry to hear about that what did you do <sighs> well I tried to make them play right and I got super mad and, and when I saw the spots on my cape I started calling them terrible names, and no, we're just not friends anymore. Aw, uh. oh, Howie. Jordan's one of your best buddies, and Phil's your cousin. You can't just leave it like that. <laughs> Look at my cape. No, tell me that. Hmm. Well, you know, you could just have your mom put it through the laundry. This is after the laundry! Oop. Uh, maybe some spot remover. I've got some good stuff your mom could try. Doesn't matter. I, I've lost some friends, and I'll never forgive them for what they did. <clears throat> uh, Howie? Hmm? We're supposed to forgive. Nope. Not gonna happen. Howie? Hmm? Does Jesus forgive you when you do wrong things? Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? He wants us to forgive others when they do wrong things to us. Oh, I know you're right. Oh. But these sins were really bad. You know what? It doesn't matter what the size of your sin is. God forgives you no matter what you did. And we're supposed to forgive others. Just like that. I know. I know. I feel pretty rotten about what I said to them, but th they did rotten things too. See, so you need to talk it out. You need to tell them that you forgive them and ask them to forgive you. And ask God to forgive you too. You're right. It's, it's just not easy. No, it's not easy. But ask God for help. He'll help you do it. And I'll get my spot remover to give to your mom. She'll be able to get those brown spots out. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Okay. I'll try it. Oh, and do I get to have that too? <laughs> of course you do. It says, Jesus loves me. It'll be a nice reminder for you at bedtime. Mm-hmm. Say goodbye to the kids. Mm hmm I think that was bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's put you over here, Howie, because I'd like to pray with the kids. Would you fold your hands and think these words in your heart? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for forgiving us for all the wrong things we do. We need your forgiveness more than we need anything else. That's certainly what the lame man who was healed by Jesus learned that day. Thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior from sin. Amen. I had a lot of fun. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.